Kamusta na mga kaibigan? Ako si Teacher Lexer and welcome back to Teacher Lexer's Math Class Channel. Kayang bang gumawa ng mga solid figures gamit ang mga plain figures? Kung hindi, halika't samahan mo ako at pag-aralan natin ang bagong topic sa araw na ito. Good day everyone! Today we are going to tackle all about making models of different solid figures. The cube, the prism, the pyramid, the cylinder, the cone, and the sphere using plain figures. For our presentation, we have here a castle made of three-dimensional shapes or what we call solid figures. We have here the cone, the cylinder, the rectangular prism, the sphere, and many others. The question is, can you make a model of solid figures using plain figures? Let us see. For our team can understand, we have here the nets of solid figures. The nets of solid figures are plain figures. Meaning to say they have flat surface. Okay, we have here the net of the cone, the net of the rectangular prism, the net of the triangular prism, the net of the cube, the net of the square pyramid, the net of triangular pyramid, and the net of the cylinder. We also have here the net of the sphere. From all of these nets of solid figure, we are going to form a solid figure okay so by the plain figures we are going to create a solid figure my name is Delma Tibia Osna from grade 5 diamond today we will gonna do 3d objects uh, with solid figures so materials we're gonna use for this project uh, slash uh, performance task are folder ruler Scissors, pencil, compass or a pair of compasses, and sketch tape. First, we will draw the net of the cube. After we draw the net of the cube, now we will cut the net. After we cut the net, uh, now we will fold it uh, to be a cube. This is our finished product of the solid figure cube. So we will draw the net of the solid figure rectangular prism. the net of the rectangular prism now we are gonna cut it after we cut the rectangular prism net now we are gonna fold it and take it down. and this is the finished product of our solid figure rectangular prism next we will draw the net of the solid figure cylinder after we draw the net of the solid figure cylinder now we will gonna cut the soft the net of the cylinder. Now, after we cut it, now we are gonna fold the, the net of the cylinder. This is the finished product of our solid figure 
cylinder. So you will draw the net of the solid figure cone. After we draw the, the net of the, co the solid figure cone, now we will cut uh, After we cut the net, now we are gonna fold it and use tape. product of the solid figure cone. Next, we are gonna draw the net of the solid figure square pyramid. So we draw the net of the solid figure square pyramid. Now we are gonna cut it. we cut it now we're gonna fold it and use scotch tape and this is our finished product of the solid figure square pyramid and finally the last we will draw the net of the solid figure triangular prism Draw the net of the solid figure triangular piece. Now we will cut it. After we cut the solid figure triangular prism, now we will fold it and use scotch tape. And this is our finished product of the solid figures. The first one we made is a cube. The second one is a rectangular prism. The third one is a cylinder. The fourth one is a cone. The fifth one is a square pyramid. And the last one, the sixth, is a triangular prism. Thank you. Our smart ideas, a geometry net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape or a solid. When the surface of three-dimensional figure is laid out flat showing each space of the figure, the pattern obtained is the net. And now we have here our math activity. You are going to draw the geometric nets for the following solid figures and make a model out of those nets. We have number one, we have the cube, number two, rectangular prism, Number three is cylinder, number four is cone, number five is square pyramid, and number six is triangular prism. Okay, for example, number one, we have the cube. What you're going to do is to draw the net of a cube in a folder or in a cardboard. Then, after drawing it, you're going to cut it out. Then, you're going to make a model of a cube out of this net. At ayan mga bata, nakatapos na naman tayo sa ating bagong aralin sa araw na ito. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig at sa inyong pananood. Huwag na huwag po natin kalimutang i-like, i-share at mag-subscribe sa channel ko. Kita-kita po muli tayo sa mga susunod po nating mga aralin. Katulad ng pagbuo ng solid figures gamit ang mga plain figures, nangangailangan ito ng sapat na panahon, pagtsatsaga at sakripisyo. Ganon din po sa pag-abot natin sa ating mga pangarap. Kailangan natin ng sakripisyo, pagtyadyaga at tamang panahon at disiplina para matupad ang ating mga pangarap.